Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I wanted to do a, a somewhat quick demo of uh, some of the things I've been working on for uh, turn-based movement. So uh, I've been playing around with how to do movement in a turn-based combat system. And so I started off with something kind of simple, and I then you know, kind of kept trying different things and different things and different things. So I want to basically highlight all the different things I've been messing around with. Um, and then, you know, I'll try to do an explanation tutorial, uh, you know, in the hopes that it'll help some people who are also experimenting with these same things. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the play test and I'll try to describe what's happening um, as it's going. Um, I did build these in, uh, you know, I kept expanding. So um, first I started with this guy and, and then after I built with him, I, I expanded beyond. So I kind of jumped back and forth. So I'm going to click on him first. It says, uh, let's make a bear move around. So I made a chessboard and I made it so that the bear moves by himself. So I'm testing just how to move a picture around the screen. That's what this is doing. Then, okay, now why don't you control the bear? Do you want the bear to move in a straight or diagonal, a straight line or diagonal? So this is using menus to choose. So I can choose straight or diagonal. I'll choose straight. Then I get my choices, you know, uh, any direction. So I'll just say up one square. And then it's going to say again, do you want to move the bear again? Sure. Do you want to move straight or diagonal? And we're going to say diagonal. So we're going to say down and to the right. Okay. And we'll do it one more time. So this is testing menu-based, right, which is not ideal. I don't really necessarily like this. Uh, but we'll say diagonal uh, down and to the left. Okay, so now this is just moving a, a picture on, you know, what looks like a chessboard. So no, I don't want to do that again. Okay, well, why don't you move the bear around uh, four times using the arrow keys? So now it's waiting for me to do something. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. And let's just go up, over, over, down. Okay. Okay. Now let's try moving based on on the teddy bear speed. The bear and I. This is something I added later. I I did a bunch of other stuff and then I came back and I added this. The bear can move four squares in a turn. If you're done moving, press the space bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. All right. So now he can move four turns. Uh, so we'll go one, two, three, and I'm going to actually end. Well, whoops, no shift. Sorry, I had I had to change that. Space was not working because it was treating it as an OK, and so I needed to change it to shift. I just didn't change the um, the show text. The bear can still move. Do you want to end the turn? I'm going to say, yeah, I want to end the turn. Okay, the bear has moved as far as it can in this turn. Do you want to try moving the bear again? Sure. Okay, the, <laughs> okay make the bear your puppet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead again. This time I'm going to run out of moves. Okay, okay, the bear has moved as far as it can. Uh, do you want to try moving the bear again? No, I'm done with that. Okay, so now that's done, all right? So now I'm going to go over to this little uh, event here, and that's going to trigger a parallel event. Okay, so now I, tr I tested it on the the um, the chessboard type square. Uh, evil Teddy can move top can move five five tiles, and you can see that there's a little tiny Evil Teddy here, and then there's a squished reed here. So I was messing around with how do you move pictures on the map. So uh, how do you want Evil Teddy to move? So again, this is uh, menu-based. So we'll say straight, and we're going to go up. Okay, and then how do you want it to move? Let's say diagonal. We'll say upper left, and then, you know, straight, up, and then straight, left. Okay, and, and you can see up here, it's counting how many times Teddy has left. So Teddy has one more move left. Uh, let's go diagonal. Let's go down to the left. Okay. Evil Teddy has no moves left. Do you wish to keep these moves or do you want to start over? So this was testing the thing about I, I can, I decide in a turn-based thing, I, I don't want to move to that spot. So I'm going to say, you know what? Start over. Teddy's going to jump back to where he was. There he is. Well, he actually moves back because it's a picture base. Now he can move his five uh, tiles. So you know what? Let's go straight and let's try to move right. Oh, Evil Teddy can't move to that tile because Reed's there. Hmm, okay. How about if we go diagonal? How about we go down into the, whoops, uh, down into the left? Okay, and then we'll go diagonal, down to the left, and then we'll go straight, left, and straight, left. How do you want Evil Teddy to move? Well, you know what? Let's try moving him one more time left. 
Oh, okay. Now this one, I I didn't change it back. So um, I later on, I, I I built it in so that uh, you can't go over obstacles. So this part of the event that I was testing didn't have that object, um, uh, you know, basically keeping it from from going. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't want to keep those moves. I'm going to start over. And then uh, this one I also did not build in where you could um, you could basically uh, you know skip it. So again, that was features I, I tried in different ways. So down to the right, uh, diagonal, down, oops, down to the right, so you can move around. Diagonal, down left, one more, yep, one more move, straight, and we'll go down. Okay, so Evil Teddy, he's done. Do you want to keep the moves? Yes, I want to keep the moves. So now it's Reed's turn. Reed can move four tiles. Okay, this is randomly determined, by the way. So uh, how do I read, want Reed to move? So how about we go uh, da, 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 diagonal, uh, down and right. And then straight left, he's going to do it four times. So this obviously is not uh, a way that I would want to do this. This is, again, just just messing um, around. I, oh, I, I'm sorry. I did build this in. Um, I can end turn or I can back. I forgot I did that. So if I go back, I, I, can, I can redo my menu. So I said, you know what? Actually, I want to go diagonal. So back, go diagonal. You know what? I actually want to end my turn. Reed has one move left. Do you want to end this turn? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, do you want to go another round? No, I'm done moving that way. Okay, let's try moving using eight directional arrows. Click on the on an arrow to move Evil Teddy by one tile. Or you can also click the pentagram uh, in the center to stop. So now I have this these uh, directional arrows down here. Not the prettiest, not fancy. This is no longer a pentagram. That's right. I switched out my icons with uh, Avery's icon, so this is no longer a pentagram. Oops. All right, so Evil Teddy, let's move you around. So, boom. Oh, look, now it's not asking me different things. Now I'm just moving however I want. Okay, I think it's counting eight times, right? Okay. All right, Evil Teddy can't move to that tile. So, again, this, this is not my fixed collision stuff. Um, I was messing around, and I kept adding to it, so this is not the uh, fixed uh, collision portion. So let's see, we got eight moves. You also notice I didn't have the move count up here. So I was just messing around with different things. We should be at eight here soon, hopefully. Or was it 10? I can't remember. Uh-oh. All right, well, so something must have messed up. I must have changed something. Actually, I did change something. So you know what? I'm just going to cancel out of this. So that's done now. Um, so again, I, I changed something and I forgot to go back to re, you know, re put something back. So that's there. Now I'm going to go back over here and I tested something different. Let's experiment with moving events. So those were all pictures. I was moving pictures in all those. Now we're going to move events because huh, I ran into problems with moving pictures. So you know what? Maybe events is better. Let's try moving an event using eight directional arrows. Click on an arrow to move the boy by one tile. You will get 10 moves to experiment. Or maybe the other one wasn't changed. Maybe I had to quit. So anyway, so here's the boy. He's going to move by these arrows again. So here we go. Oh, you know what? Let's go up. Oh, he can't move there. It's an obstacle. Okay, cool. So I did do that. How about if we go up? We're going to keep going up. Hey, guess what? He can't move there because it's occupied. How about if we go to the border? Oh, can't move there. It's an occupied tile. Or actually, that should probably change to say it's a um, it's an edge. Okay, let's try something else. The boy's speed is five. That means you can move him five tiles. Once you have moved that many times, you will have the chance to cancel the movement and send the boy back to where he started. So boom, 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 boom. The boy is out of moves. Do you want to keep these or reset? We'll reset. Now, this one's not going to move like the pictures did. It's going to jump. Boop! Jump back to where he was. So now I move. Okay, boy's out of move. Do you want to keep him? Sure, let's keep him. Do you want to try moving again? Yes, I do, because I want to show something. Now he has a speed of four. So I'm going down here. Okay, he's out of move. Uh, I'm going to keep him. Do you want to move him again? Yes. Now, I, there's one thing I didn't, uh, I didn't go back and fix. 
I would think you could move through this space here. I would just think you could. Now, I can't move diagonally to there because that's blocking the way. So I'm going to move over. I'm going to move down. I'm going to move up. Now, I would think you could move diagonally through here. You can't. And I didn't fix it, so that actually, I think, counted as a move. So it, you, I couldn't move diagonally here, so I'd have to change that to say, to communicate to the player that if you're trying to move through a space like that, it's not going to let you do that. Or I'd have to set it to trans, uh, not tra uh, yeah, through. I'd have to set it to through. But then that, um, that might have un unintended consequences where it might, the player might be able to walk through things I don't want them to. So anyway, that, that was curious. Uh, out of moves, do you want to reset? Again, I could reset and jump uh, to where he was, which was there. Um, and then we're just going to move around. He's out of moves. Do you want to keep him? Yes, I'm going to keep him. Do you want to try moving him again? No, I don't. Uh, this concludes our test. So that that was it. That was all of the tests I did. And, and basically what I did was I started with this guy with the checkerboard or the chessboard and having a picture of, of the evil Teddy and moving him around from from uh, spot to spot and trying to figure out how many pixels that, that required, right? Because I'm moving pictures with pixels. And... Um, and then I went to doing uh, this other event here that triggered uh, where you were moving them on the map and, you know, then went through the thing about moving them by menu, you know, diagonal uh, straight, moving them by uh, arrow keys, uh, moving them by the directional arrows on the screen. Um, and then, you know, I also added in things like movement count, right? They can move a certain number of, of spaces the ability to reset that so you could try moving them again if you didn't like that turn um and then just a variety and then collisions making it so they can't walk um to the edges of the map they can't walk over obstacles they can't bump into each other um added all those features now there's still some other stuff that i i need to mess around with um and i will say this relates to the one video i posted where i said i was going to post for help and, and it had to do with um, basically the, the size of the map and the, the last portion there that I tested where it was identifying where, the, where you couldn't move to, that works perfectly fine if the map size is the same size as the screen. When I first started testing it, my map was bigger than the screen and I just ran into horrible tr problems trying to figure out how to make it where the 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 it, it would identify if if there was an obstacle um, or you were at the edge of the map and if you moved when you scrolled the map the pictures actually jumped so um, you know I still have to play with it for the event moving the event around and if the map is bigger than the screen uh, but anyway that's that's all the movement stuff I messed with so far um, a bunch of different things there's a bunch of stuff I still have to try to improve upon. Uh, menu based is certainly not the way to go. It's it's way too much picking and clicking and choosing. Um, but it was all in the spirit of trying to figure out how you move events, how you move pictures, and, and then just keep building on it. So anyway, that's the little demo of what I've been working on. Um, I will kind of go back and change some things and fix some stuff, and then and then maybe uh, post a tutorial if this would help people. So uh, if you do watch this and you do and you really would like to know how to do some of this movement um leave a comment and uh or or like the video and then you know that will um you know i can circle back and uh and go ahead and, and make the tutorial all right well anyway i hope everybody's having a great day um you know I'll, I'll get more stuff as soon as i can when i have quiet time uh and uh in the meantime folks i hope i hope uh hope everything's going well uh, happy gaming, happy game developing, and uh, I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.